So this video is going to be kind of a precursor to something I'm going to be working on shortly. This is how to clone a hard drive. So I'm going to start with pressing the F lock because I have one of those old Microsoft keyboards that actually has an F lock button. So I'm pressing F11, going into my boot menu. I have three drives attached to this system. The first one is a DVD drive. Okay, inside there I have a copy of a Cronus uh, True Image 2010. And then over here I have the two drives that I want to clone. So I've got a Raptor 160 gigabyte hard drive and that is going to be my source drive. And then I'm going to be cloning that to a Vertex 60 gig SSD. So I'm going to select the CD or DVD as my boot drive and then it is going to keep going and loading things. Won't take too long, there we go. And we'll get right into the Acronis True Image. Oh, look at how my mouse is behaving. That's very strange. I can't move side to side. That's the weirdest thing I've seen in a while. So I'll use the keyboard and just do that. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, basically, what I'm doing this for is we did a Tech Tips episode recently where we compared a hard drive to an SSD. And I had a couple complaints that the comparison wasn't exactly fair. The drives that I used were the Vertex Limited Edition from OCZ, which is the fastest OCZ Vertex SSD on the market at this time. And then the drive I compared it against was the Western Digital 1TB Caviar Black, which is a very respectable drive by any stretch of the imagination. But I had a lot of people asking me, well, what if we did it with a 10,000 K RPM drive. What if you used a lower end SSD? So that's exactly the comparison I'm prepping now. I'm using that same image, which I've already cloned to the Raptor 160 gig 10,000 RPM drive, and then I'm going to load that onto a Vertex 60 gig, which is again a much lower end SSD. So we're going to go down to Tools and Utilities, click Clone Disk, and we're going to go Manual Mode. Then I'm going to select my source disk, which is Disk 2, the 149 gigabyte Western Digital. There we go, click Next, and then I'm going to select my target disk, click Next, uh, OK. I'm overwriting a, a previous version of the same image, so it should be just fine. I'm going to use Proportional, and I'm going to proceed. It takes about eh, half an hour, and then I will be able to shoot my little quick episode comparing the Vertex 60 against the WD Raptor um, 10,000 RPM drive. 